So guys, for the first method, you just want to simply sign out of the Microsoft Store and then sign back in. So you're going to click on your profile on the top right and then click on sign out and then just sign back in. See if this fixes your problem. If that's still not working for the second method, first you want to head over to search and then type in Task Manager. Click on it. Now once you're on this, if you see Microsoft Store running, you want to right click on it and then click on End Task. You might just scroll down to find Microsoft Store, but once you find it, you want to right click and then click on End Task. And now once you do that, you want to head over to search again and then type in CMD. Then you want to run it as administrator. And then once you're on this, you want to click on yes. And now once you're on the command prompt, you want to type in wsreset.exe and click on enter, which will then reset the cache for the Microsoft Store. Now for the next method, you want to head over to search and then type in services. Click on it. Now once you're on this, we're going to click on any service, then we're going to click on W on our keyboard. Then you want to scroll down until you find Windows Update. You want to double click on it. And then make sure the startup type is set to automatic and that the service is running and then click on OK. But if you already got to this stage and the service was already running and it was already on automatic, then you want to click on it and then click on restart the service. Now once you do this, you want to head over to search again and then type in check for updates. Click on it. Now once you're on this, you want to click on check for updates and do all the updates the computer may have. Now you want to restart your computer and then that should fix the problem. 